Right now, we are just two hours from polls shutting down in Utah's primary election. It's a historic vote as ballots will be cast and counted in very different ways than in years past. We do have team coverage for you on Decision 2020 tonight, starting with new specials Lad Egan in Salt Lake County. Lad? Yeah, I'm in Salt Lake County. I'm actually in the basement of the government center. This is the ballot processing center. It already takes a little bit of more time to process mail-in ballots, but this year it's going to take longer. So starting out, the ballots come in and they're put into a locked room and they undergo 24 hours of quarantine. After that, they can finally start to be processed. This big machine right here, it checks in the ballot, lets it know that it's been received. Each ballot is photographed and it's sorted for the next part of the process. So these machines are humming along. They have two of them here and they are still processing ballots tonight for the results to be released around 10 p.m. If you follow me, I'll walk you through a little bit more of the process. Over here, they have other machines. You can see this sign right here. This is where they open the ballots, get them ready to be processed. And then in here, you can see the election workers, but normally they're crammed together, but because of social distancing, because of the pandemic, they're having to sit about six feet, uh, feet apart from each other as they go ahead and get those ballots ready to go. There's another room down there where the ballots are finally scanned. That's where they're tabulated and the vote is counted. We're going to take you in there coming up at 630. And they're telling me here in Salt Lake County they're going to keep on working all the way up until that 10 p.m. mark because of the pandemic, they're only allowed to give us one batch of results tonight, and that's going to be right at 10 and they're trying to get through as many of them as they can. So for now, Mike, I'll send it back to you, but a very interesting process, but one that's taking a little bit longer this year. And so they're telling us, don't expect to have any final results tonight. All right, we won't expect that. We'll expect something, just not the total numbers. And uh, yeah, kudos to them, because I know it's a lot of work and it's a different situation out there. Glad, thank you. Voters in Utah County will have a lot of say in this Republican primary. New specialist Dave McCann is live tonight in Provo. Dave? Deanie, how important is Utah County? Well, both front runners in the governor's race selected women from Utah County as their running mates. And with 170,000 registered Republicans down here, this race has turned into an unprecedented primary. The gubernatorial race, especially with it being a four-way race and it's a really tight neck-and-neck -neck race, people are really excited about it. This morning when we were opening drop boxes to bring those ballots back to the county, we literally had drop boxes that were so shoved full that they were just, as we opened them, we're grabbing the ballots. We, one drop box had 2,000 ballots in it. People are really excited to return those ballots. As we reported at 5 o'clock, the Utah County vote isn't expected to be announced until Thursday at the earliest. Each vote has to be certified by hand. And with the COVID restrictions, what used to be easy is now a lot more time consuming. The drive through polling stations like this one at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, the Spanish Fork Fairgrounds, the American Fork Tabernacle, and Westlake High School in Saratoga Springs, they'll be open until 8 tonight. This is where you can get a replacement ballot if you've lost yours. And you can vote in your car and then put it in a drop box before you leave. If you've got a ballot hanging around the house, you can find your nearest drop-off location by going to your county clerk's website. And remember, the witching hour is at 8 o'clock, and then that tedious counting can begin. And, Deanie, it's been an interesting and unusual campaign season, and just about everybody now is going to have to sit on pins and needles for a few more days. In Provo, I'm Dave McCann. Back to you. Yeah, we will need our patience this year. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Stay with KSL as we follow the races throughout the night and the coming days. We're expecting some results, as you heard, right at 10 o'clock. So be sure to join us for KSL 5 News at 10 for those early results.